guys, I'm Leanne and this is Farm and Charm. Um, I've been out of the country for the last week and while I was gone, I got a bunch of requests for a product that I showed in a haul video. I've never gotten as many requests for a review for a product, so it kind of surprised me because it wasn't the product that I was most excited to get in the haul. So, but I think for some reason that maybe there's not a lot of videos posted about this or something. But um, anyway, I had so many requests for this review that I got back the day before yesterday. Yesterday I was really busy and I'm filming the video today. So as soon as I can get it up, this will be up for you guys. Um, so the product is the Tarte. It is the Ulta exclusive for the Holiday 2013 collection. And it is called the Gorgeous Getaways Palette. So um, it is a really neat little product. Um, I'll go ahead and show it to you. It's in the little jewelry box format. Tarte, a lot of times at Christmas, does a jewelry box full of makeup. And Ulta has it this year. I think uh, last year or two years ago, Sephora had one. Um, I think this year Sephora comes in a makeup bag. So I think only Ulta is gonna have their jewelry box this year. So um, here in the top, there's a mirror, and I've covered the mirror with a sheet of paper to keep from blinding everyone. And then there are 16 eyeshadows and four blushes. And the blushes are four and a half grams each. A regular full-size Tarte blush is 5.6. So you're getting 80% of a regular size Tarte blush in each one of these blushes. So it's a fantastic value for the blush alone. In the bottom, you have a little removable palette and you have three lip glosses. So I'm gonna show you how this works real quick. <clears throat> what you do is you pull the removable palette out of the bottom. It's super cute. It looks like a little bow and it's got the little gold tart here, tart logo here. And then when you open it up, it has a mirror on one side and a palette on the other, where you put the palette on the other. So um, on the top, if this is divided into four, and um, the, in each one there are four eyeshadows and a blush, and each one has a little tab out here to the side, if you can see that from the side here. So what you do is you pull up on the little tab, and um, these one little palette comes out. Then you can take this small palette and put it into this. And it's magnetized, and it just pops right into place with the magnets and it stays put pretty well, so it's not gonna come out of there too easily. So it's called the Gorgeous Getaway Palette because each one of these, each of the small, four smaller palettes, um, they have the names on the back of different places. This one is called Buckingham Palace, Serengeti Sand, Rocky Mountains, and Bordeaux. Um, I think that's cute. I think they had a similar thing last year in one of their um, makeup bag palettes. Um, the only thing that's kind of bizarre to me is um, I would have thought they would have picked one area and named all four eyeshadows. Maybe pick Paris and then name it like Eiffel Tower, Scene River. You know, pick different things from one area and have each palette with a theme. I don't know. It's just a thought, but it's kind of weird that, you know, you have Buckingham Palace and Serengeti Sand here together. But I understand what they're doing, like trying to make the name. Like Serengeti Sand is this highlighter here. Buckingham Palace is kind of a gray. Um, but it's cute. It's a, it's a cute thing. Here you can see the other four palettes. Um, I am a blush fanatic. Uh, fanatic, fanatic. I'm a blush fanatic. I love blushes. I don't know why they're all various shades of the same, but um, but but I love blushes, and so the main reason I bought this was for the for limited edition blushes. Every one of these is a um a different um blush than what Tarte has had out before. It's not an existing color somewhere else. I show you swatches of each thing. I have a couple of comparisons for the blushes on several of these, and um, I'm just gonna start there. Um, I'm going to swatch your Buckingham Palace. It's right here. Then Serengeti Sand. Right there. Your little highlighter. Here's a gray color called Rocky Mountains. Right here. Um... 
That's it with it swatched a second time. And then here is Bordeaux. It's a purple sparkly color. And I will say about these, I do like the Tarte eyeshadows, um, but they're not the same quality and the same intensity if you're expecting something like the Urban Decay Creamy Eyeshadows or the MAC Eyeshadows. They're good eyeshadows, but um, they're a little drier and a little chalkier. I tried to depot some um, last year that came in a QVC kit, and they're, they're very, um, they broke easily. Um, which concerns me for a palette that you can carry around. Um, they are really nice eyeshadows. You may have to work with them a little more. They don't blend quite as easily as an Urban Decay or a MAC eyeshadow might. Um, I love their ones that are a lighter color with a little sparkle in them. The ones that are darker, dark mattes and the dark sparkles tend to, for some reason, just not blend quite as well. I just have to like pay more attention and work a little harder with those. They're good eyeshadows. Um, they're just a little different than um, some of the others. So um, the blush that was in this one is Ambitious. Every blush in this kit is a new blush. It's a limited edition and there is not a blush out that's exactly the same. I took time and swatched these next to other blushes and actually Ambitious, I did not find another blush that was the same. It is a darker rosy pinkish shade um, and I'll swatch it for you here very pigmented. Um, these have the same pigmentation and intensity that the regular line of blushes have, which is impressive, impressive to me. I don't know how they can afford to do that in so many palettes, but um, it's a very pretty shade. I'm really loving that shade, but I swatched it against every other shade that I have and I did not find a duplicate or one that was even pretty close to it. This is my little scooter dog. And he likes to review makeup with me, don't you? He likes it. He is a makeup enthusiast. Say hi. What's up, YouTube family? What you doing? He's a sweet doggy. Okay, so now I'm going to wash my hands off with a cloth so I don't get dog in all of my makeup. Little antibacterial kills 99.9% .9 of germs, wet ones. There. Now my makeup will be sanitary. Okay, the next small palette is this one up here on the top. Four colors of this one are Grand Canyon, Taj Mahal, Big Ben, and Central Park. Like I said, I wish they had picked like scenes from the Midwest and done, you know, all the scenes from Midwestern America, then one scenes from Paris, then one scenes from Italy. I don't know, just go with a theme instead of have them kind of scattered from everywhere. Um, like I said, they didn't ask me. They know what they're doing, running their own company. Um, I just think it's kind of, I don't know, it would have more of a continuality to it if they did that. So here's some swatches. Grand Canyon right here. Kind of a tan color here. Not really taupe, just more tan. It's right here. It's kind of a neutral on me. About a little bit darker than my regular skin tone. Now the shades I do love from Tarte are the ones like this that have some sparkle. It's a lighter color. I don't know why, but I always tend to dig those. Here, maybe you can see why here. They show up with good pigmentation. They go on creamy. I can probably guarantee that there's a couple of others in this kit that I'm really going to love, but I'm going to love that one. Here on the bottom is Big Ben. It is a taupe, grayish taupe, and there it is. And you can tell just from the way it swatches, it's a little dry. Some of these are kind of dry, a little on the chalky side. It's not my absolute favorite. And then here on the bottom is Central Park. And this one is drier and chalky also, but good pigmentation. It does go on well. This blush is called Savvy, and it is a dusky, rosy, 
a little bit of a rosy undertone to it um, a little bit of pink in there um, but it is a neutral and the the blush that I found to compare it to is a very very um, frequently talked about blush from Tarte and it is exposed and I'll tart those I'll tart those <laughs> can't even talk I'll swatch those side by side for y'all um, this is um, savvy and here's a swatch right here. It's a pretty neutral with a little bit of pink. And then exposed. Here so you can see them side by side. They're not exact, but they're fairly close. I think exposed has more, more of a brown undertone. So there's a swatch. And I'll swatch it here next to Savvy. And you can see that this one's more of a brown and that one has more of a pink undertone, but they're pretty close. So, I'll go on to the next one. This one on the top here has some really lovely colors in it. Um, this is probably this is probably the one that I like the best for the eyeshadows. Um, the blush is probably maybe my least favorite i'll show you why um this is great sphinx right here this one is sanatory bikini oh i'm sorry santorini bikini santorini bikini pacific sunset and belgian chocolate i think these blushes these eyeshadows are really pretty and i like how they've put those together the blush is called spontaneous and it is a pretty peachy pink. So Great Sphinx right here is a tan with a with um, some pretty sparkles in it. And it has good pigmentation and it goes on smoothly. And um, I like that one a lot. Um, you're more of a highlighter shade here, Santorini Bikini. Is one of those sparkly shades I enjoy from Tarte. Light one and it goes on smoothly. It's a very pretty shade. Pacific Sunset right here is a pretty golden shade and it has some golden sparkle in it. And it goes on smoothly. Very pretty shade. And then the last one here is Belgian Chocolate which is interesting because it's a plummy color. It is not a chocolatey color. So, but um, here's a swatch here. And there's it going on. It's kind of a darker, plummy. It does have brown undertones if you're wanting to justify the chocolate name. <laughs> but I've never seen a plum chocolate before. And the blush right here is called Spontaneous. And I'll show you why it's not my absolute favorite because this is usually a, sh a shade that I would really enjoy. When I swatch it and when I wear it, it goes on without a ton of pigmentation. Here, I'll swatch it again so you can see it going on. I mean, it's just not the bam pigmentation that most of these are. And it has a bunch of a sheen to it. And um, one of those that you can kind of use as a highlighter. It's not so much sheen that it would act just as a highlighter, but it's more than what it would be for just a blush, if you know what I'm saying. Um, the blush that I found that it was closest to is the blush Empowered. And I'll show you these side by side. Empowered is more of a, there. You can see that Spontaneous right here has more of a rosy tone to it. Empowered is more of a dusky color to it. Um, but it goes on with more pigmentation. See, you can tell from the swatch. It goes on with more pigmentation. It has the same kind of sheen, but less of it. Um, I think that would have been a really nice blush if they had done like a little less sheen and a little more pigmentation in it. So I love, but I love, love, love the shadows in that one. That one's my favorite palette for the shadows themselves. But you can tell, I told you that I really like the lighter colors 
Um, I don't like the darker ones. They're harder to work with for me. That's the one with the most lighter colors in it. All the others have like a darker color that I find hard to work with. The last palette of the four is this one on the bottom. The eyeshadows are Eiffel Tower, Gold Coast, Space Needle, and Midnight in Paris. So, I like Eiffel Tower and Big Night in Paris together. I don't really know why, I don't know, I need to get off of that, but I don't know why they didn't run with a theme for each palette. So, Eiffel Tower right here, swatched here, it goes on pretty smoothly, but I don't know if, you, if I can show you how chalky that it tends to be. I'll try to swatch it again. That's like a second swatch, there's not as much product on there. But it, it goes on rather chalky, and I don't love that. And when you put it on, it's a little harder to blend. Um, the next one is Gold Coast right here. I'll swatch it here. It goes on pretty smooth and a pretty color. One of the lighter shades that I like. Um, this bottom one here is Space Needle. There's a swatch of that one. Um, it's like a sparkly neutral kind of color. It doesn't show up terribly well. And then the last one on the bottom here is Midnight in Paris. Um, it is a bluish, a dark, um, it's darker than navy. It's not black. It's kind of a dark blue, um, darker than navy blue. Pretty dark color there. And here is the swatch. It goes on with a lot of intensity, but it's, see, you can just blow it off. It's very chalky. There's going to be a lot of fallout from these shades. Um, some of their eyeshadows will be my favorite things. I will love them, and then some of them I don't like at all. Um, the blushes, however, A1. Great job with the blushes. They're fantastic. This one is lighthearted, and I'll swatch it here for you. Look, great intensity, very pretty color, bright, bright pink there. I think it may be showing up on camera as a deeper pink, but it's a very bright pink. Um, I'll show you side by side with Amused. Amused is a very bright, almost fuchsia pink. And there are those two side by side. And when you swatch it, it goes on brighter but when you um, shear it out they come out looking pretty similar so those are all the colors in the gorgeous getaway collection um, it is a nice a nice collection it is um, a good buy for $49 but if you buy it just for the blush, you get four blushes for $48. That is $12 a blush, which, you know, the regular blushes are $26 a piece. And then you get the eyeshadows and the, um, the lip glosses, which are very nice. I've worn these. Um, they're not too sticky. They have the peppermint-y um, taste, the little tingle that Tarte um, has in their lip glosses. is very nice. If you buy it just for the eyeshadows, $48 by 16 eyeshadows is $3 an eyeshadow, so not a bad buy. And if you divide it by, and if you look at it like you're getting um, 20 products just on the top, and then 23 products on the bottom plus the little palette, we'll say 48 divided by 23, $2 a product. So $2 an eyeshadow, $2 a blush, and $2 for each of the lip glosses which is a good deal. And then the little makeup box is eventually reusable. If you want to take everything out of it and use it to keep to store your makeup, it's a good depth. The boxes are for storing pieces of makeup. And you can eventually use it for that if that's what you want to do. So overall, I would suggest this. The high points in it are three fantastic blushes. One pretty good blush, not my all-time favorite, but it's a good blush still. Three really good lip glosses. The portable palette is really neat. And then the eyeshadows, there are a couple of really fantastic ones that I love. I love all four of these. I love these two here. Um, I really like the highlighting colors. 
The ones that I tend not to like are the darker ones that are more chalky. So overall, a good purchase. Um, if you watch Ulta, a lot of times closer to Christmas, usually right before um, Sephora does their 20% off for the VIBs, you can find this 20% off at that point. So you may want to wait a couple of weeks and see if Ulta is going to do a 20% off. Fairly certain they will. I think they do that every year. Usually right around the time Sephora does their 20% off. So um, that is the overview of the gorgeous Getaways palette. Ulta exclusive from Tarte, my all-time favorite. I love Tarte. Tarte's awesome. So stay tuned for my next video. I'm very excited about it. I'm very um, going to help someone else. This was a medical mission that I went on. I went to Honduras and it touches your heart. It really does. You pay a lot of money to go on these trips. You think you know, I'm blessed. I want to go to do something for someone else. And then it's amazing what you bring back and how it touches you more than it touched them probably. So stay tuned for my next video. And um, um, I will be showing you that. I'm going to do a what's in my makeup bag. And then after that, I'm going to be putting in pictures of the people that I came across in Honduras. Um, it's a really touching experience. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys soon. Um, please subscribe if you're not subscribed. I love every one of my subscribers. Y'all mean so much to me, and I will see y'all soon. Bye.